Hello and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about how you can get a 4 GPA in a semester. In the last two years I've got 4 GPA twice. I plan to get a 4 GPA this semester as well. Anybody can get a 4 GPA and in this video I am going to talk about how you can achieve one. GPA is important as a screening mechanism because a lot of companies only accommodate candidates uh, that lie under a certain GPA range. For example, I was recently applying to internships in Switzerland and their cutoff criteria was 3.75 and even then 3.75 is the floor of that. I mean, usually people that are selected in programs or in graduate schools have a GPA that is somewhere around 3.97 and below. So you can understand that most people who go on scholarships have a high scoring GPA. Getting a high GPA is basically telling your admissions committee that this person is dedicated enough to maintain his grades while being good at other things during a semester because it is really difficult to show consistency and a high GPA shows that how committed you are to your program and your discipline. I believe that anyone following these steps can easily secure a 4.0 GPA or a 5.0 GPA if that's the maximum in your scale. Before we begin, you need to understand how GPA is calculated. In a semester, we have approximately six courses. Sometimes we have four courses, sometimes we have five courses. As far as I know, the maximum amount of course load is seven. The most easiest prerequisite for a four point GPA is getting an A grade in every subject. So if you want to get a four GPA, you need to get an A in every subject for that semester. Now you also need to understand that it's easier to maintain a GPA earlier than it is to increase a GPA in the lower semesters because your GPA is your average and no matter how high you score this the lowest amount of number is going to drag your GPA down so for example no matter how much high GPA I score no matter how many times I score 4 since I have a number that is below 4 the average will never reach 4 it could be 3.9999 but it will never be 4 so your CGPA is the averages of all your GPA. Every semester, the GPA that you achieve somewhere or the other influences your cumulative GPA. The first thing that we've talked about is that you need to get an A in all the subjects. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to have to score at least 85% mark in all modules, which means that you need to score 85 marks out of 100 in your quizzes in your tests, in your assignments, in your vivas, in your practical exams, and in your midterms and final exams each. This 85% is subjective. I'm not talking about 85 out of 100. I'm talking about the percentage, which means most universities have a cutoff of A at 85. If the cutoff is at 87, then you need to score more than 87 or 87 at the very least you also have to develop this mindset that you have to score between 65 to 75 at the minimum you are not supposed to score less than 65 to 75 percent per module and then again a module means that all of the submissions for a course all of the quizzes the assignments the exams should not be less than 65 percent before moving on further Please think about it and consider this as an investment in your future self. Because getting a good grade does not only make you stand out in front of the employer, it tells the other person that you're committed to achieving your goals and that no matter what, you're able to maintain your focus and prioritize your responsibilities. Now that we're clear about how much grade that we're supposed to maintain, which is 85% in every single thing, we also need to focus on our deliverables or our submissions. All our assignments are graded and they are solid marks that we tend to lose most of the time. Make sure that you submit all of your assignments. If you fail a quiz or if you score poorly on a quiz, request your instructor for a remake quiz. Most instructors are happy to take another quiz so that you can maintain your grade. Most of the time, we are unable to submit our assignments or our papers within the time frame that is being allotted to us in that case please 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 discuss the issue with your instructor 
and ask them for an extension. Again, most of the instructors that I know are happy to give you an extension, but do not lie to them. Teachers know when you are lying to them, so do not make up excuse that your grandmother died and you were unable to complete your homework or that your dog because dog excuses are way too random. Just be honest, tell them that you were preoccupied or tell them that you were sick or tell them that you were not able to complete it. For example, I was sick this entire semester. It was really, really difficult to complete all my submissions. And so I asked for time. And my teachers were generous enough to let me submit them but make sure make sure that you complete your submissions before your final examinations because once the grade register is locked nobody can help you and not even your professor can help you because that's not in their hands anymore after your grades you have to make sure that you submit your presentations your assignments your quizzes your papers on time and if you are unable to do that for a legitimate reason ask for an extension so now that we have cleared our main objective which is to secure an A in every course, let us look at the steps that will allow you to achieve this in an easier way.